Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm going to introduce you to a split face command with a paint tool. So here what you see uh, on my screen is a 3D model that I've been working on. Um, I've also done a physical model of this that I did a video on and pretty soon a follow-up video on that. Um, so I've been kind of working on this thing, brought in a mask from SketchUp, and now I'm ready to kind of like detail out um, some more areas for some green space as I'm doing a rendering, which I'm doing like a base rendering in Lumion, and then I'm going to take that into Photoshop after that to enhance it a little bit more. Um, what I'm finding is I need definitely some more green space to, uh, to tie this thing together. So I'm doing a split face command and then a paint tool command on different areas to create some more green spaces for people to uh, have some shade and gather around. So I'm going to throw in, I think, a little green space here, kind of divide this thing up a little bit, and you can see the process. So here we go. So it's really not that bad. I'm going to go into the architecture tab uh, just by default, and then I click on my material that I want to split face, and then contextually I get some, some modified tools. You'll see I have uh, this floor in here as a roof. Uh, that's because I was doing some different slopes. It's sometimes easier to assign that to a, a mass, um, especially like if we have, you know, like a, a ramped area, sometimes it's easier to just do that as a roof. So that's just another tip. All right, so I'm clicking on this, and you can do this with floors too. Uh, so I'm going to go to split face. You can also do this with walls. I'm going to go to split face right up here. It's this little guy kind of hiding in the corner right above the geometry panel. And then I have to select this again. So I'm going to select that again. And now it's recognized the face of what I want to, uh, to cut out. And now this works as a sketch. So the same sketching rules apply. I uh, can only have one closed loop uh, shape in this sketch at a time. So unfortunately you can't draw or copy and paste or array like 50 of these right away. What you have to do is uh, draw out what you want and then um, you'll have to do a separate sketch if you want more areas within this plane uh, to be a different material. So one at a time. So I'm gonna just kind of move this open and I'm gonna adjust it after I draw it to be uh, not so much a random dimension. So I'm just gonna click on that and make this like a 10 foot by 10 foot region. Um, and I'm going to end up throwing like a planter in there and, but first I'm going to do like a little grass field and then, so I'm going to check that off. And so now this face has been split. So that way it's a different material property structurally below it. The way you compose uh, your floor or in this case, this roof, um, is kind of up to you. I, it doesn't really change that. This just changes the appearance of the material on the surface. So you would have to go through and detail that out. However, I do believe Revit will tag this as a different material, but if you did like a section view, it's not going to show it any differently. All right, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to go to the paint tool, which is conveniently right below the split face tool. So I, I believe the uh, the developers of Revit knew that those two would be used in conjunction with each other quite often. So here you can search for your materials. I have some grass here that I've been using. So I'm going to just hover right on here and notice that it wants to select the entire boundary. So when I hover on this, by default, I'm noticing that it wants to select the larger area. Just hover right there, hit tab once, and then you'll see that the larger boundary goes away. So now it's selecting inside of that square. Click in there and then you should be good. I'm going to hit escape to kind of get out of the command. And now we can see that I've gone and I've kind of changed that up. All right. So if there's anything in this video that you want to see done, like perhaps maybe even like uh, the stairs flowing into the ramp, um, any little tips and tricks that you see that you would like that uh, you'd like me to do a video on, just let me know in the comments and look forward to hearing from you guys. Hope everybody has a good one. Thanks. Don't forget to save and subscribe.